Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number eight in the series of fifteen on the topic of work time problems. Work time problems in the series of fifteen. Today is the eighth lesson, and today is our lesson number. Today is our lesson number one hundred and thirty-three. Problem for today is already on the blackboard, as you can see. Let's take a look at it. We are told that robot, robot A, we have two robot, robot A and robot B. Robot A, we are told, can assemble 900 parts in 10 minutes. Robot B, we are told, can assemble 900 parts, same exact 900 parts, in 15 minutes. The question simply is, how long will it take? How long will it take them working together at their constant pace to assemble 1,500 parts? And these are the answer choices, and all of these answer choices are in minutes. What I want you to do right now is to pause the video, do the problem yourself. Once you have the answer, resume the video and then we'll compare your work against the work that you and I will do, do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and then pause the video. Okay? Here we go. Alright. There are a couple of ways we can go about it. Well, there aren't just a couple of ways, there are several different ways we can go about it, but there are a couple of ways, a couple of methods that come to my mind. We'll go through, we'll go through both of those methods. Okay, let's take, a look, let's take a look at it, see what's going on. We are told that this guy takes 15 minutes to do the same amount of job. You see the fact that they're both doing the same amount of job, then the whoever takes the longer time, listen carefully, whoever takes the longer time, make that as your point of reference. Make that as your point of reference. Ask yourself, how much work can A do? in 15 minutes. A we are told A can do 900 in 10 minutes. What well, that implies, that implies that A can do 450 in 5 minutes. Makes perfect sense. If you give him half the time, he can do half, half the work. Which also implies, which in turn implies, which in turn implies that A should be able to do, A can do 900 plus 450, which is 1350 in 10 plus 5, 15 minutes. There we go. We also know, we also know that B can do, B can do, we are told, B can do 900 parts in 15 minutes. There we go. Together they can do 1350 plus 900, 1350 plus 1000 would have been 2350, so it's going to be 2250. 22. 50 in 15 minutes. That's it. We're almost done. Now we can set it up as a proportion problem and be done with it. Set it up as a proportion problem. So here are the parts. Here are the minutes. We know that we can do 2,250 parts in 15 minutes. The question is, how long will it take? How long will it take to do 1,500 parts? How long will it take to do 1500 parts? Let's do it up here. Let's do this equation. We're going to solve this equation up here. I'll give you a couple of seconds in case you need the unobstructed view. Robot A can assemble 900 parts in 10 minutes. B can do 15 minutes. How long? How long to do? For how long will it take to do 1500 parts? If you cross multiply, we get 2250 times x. 22. 50 times x equals 15 times 1500. 15 times 1500. We're not interested in 2250x, we just want x, so let's divide both sides by 2250. Let's divide both sides by 2250 and it goes away from here. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. If we do that, we can knock out the zeros. 225 I see, I see 150 on the top. I hope that you're able to see. I hope that you're able to see that 150 and 225, I hope that you're able to see immediately that both 150 and 225 are multiple multiples of 25. 100, 100 has 4 25s, therefore 200 has 8 25s, therefore 225 is made up of 9 25s, and 150 is made up of, 150 is made up of 6 25s, 6 25s are 150. So divide top and bottom by 25. I see a 9 here, I see a 6 here. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. So we get 2 and a 3 here. 
I see a 3 here, I see a 15 here, let's divide top and bottom by 3 one more time and we get 5 times 2, 5 times 2, 5 times 2, the answer is 8. It will take them 10 minutes working together to assemble 1500 parts. That was one way. Another way is a little bit different, I'm going to show you the second method now if you like. So here's the second method. We were told that A, I'm not going to write the whole problem again. We were told, we were told that A can do 900 parts in 10 minutes. We were told that B does the 900 parts in 15 minutes. Since they're making a big fuss about 900, let's define, this is the second method here. Let's define, 900 parts as one job, as a job. So in this, in the second method, when we refer to a job, what we mean is 900 parts. Let's get going. One guy takes 10 minutes, the other guy takes 15 minutes. What we're looking for here is the least, smallest number that you can think of that is a multiple of both 10 and 15. One more time. We're looking for the smallest number, least number, that is a multiple of both 10 and 15. Technically, smallest number that is a multiple of both 10 and 15, well not technically actually, it will be 30. 10 and 15, the least, the least common multiplier is if we divide both by 10 and 15, if we divide both by 5, we get 2 and 3, there you go. So 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 3 is 30, it is 30. 30 is the magic number here. In this problem, 30 is the magic problem, magic number in the second method. What we're going to ask ourselves is, how much work can they do in 30 minutes? Because 30 can be divis is divisible by both 10 and 15. A can do, A can do. We are told that A only takes, A only takes 10 minutes to do 900 parts. 900 parts is a job. A can do three jobs. A can do three jobs in 30 minutes. And B can do, B can do, B can do two jobs in 30 minutes. Because so remember, we were told that B takes 15 minutes to do 900 parts. If B takes 15 minutes to assemble 900 parts, and if we are defining 900 parts as a job, and if it takes in 15 minutes to do a job, in 30 minutes you can do two jobs. That implies that together, that implies that together they can do five jobs, five jobs in 30 minutes. Are you with me? If they can do five jobs in 30 minutes, that implies that they will take one job, one job will take them six minutes. 30 divided by five. 30 divided by five. One job should take them 30 divided by five or six minutes. Are you with me still? Stay with me, the story well is very important. What we want. What we want are 1,500 parts. This is where things, get, things are going to get prickly. As I said, pay attention. We want 1,500 parts. Well, 1,500 is made up of 900 plus 600. Are you with me? This is one job. This is one job. We define, we define 900 as one job. If 900 is one job, 600 is two-thirds of a job. One job we just found out takes six minutes. And since 6 is made up of 2 plus 2 plus 2, a third of a 6 is 2, 2 third, 2 third of a job will take another 4 minutes. You, you choose which, which method you prefer and just go with it. Whichever method that you feel comfortable with. All right? There are several other methods. These are not the only two methods. Method. I am looking at my notes here and I see, at le at le I, I see at least one more method here in my notes. I'm not going to go through it right now because otherwise it will be too long. But what, what I'm trying to make you understand is that there aren't, that there, there aren't just two methods, there are several different methods. Depend, depends on one's perspective. Uh, one person may look at the same problem from one vantage point, from one perspective, another person may look at the same problem from a different point of view. Or a same person, if you put a problem in front of me, I might look at the problem and try to and, and solve it in one way. You give me the same exact problem in the afternoon or, or two days later, I might solve the same exact problem in a different way. It's just a matter of what clicks, you understand? These are two methods. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.